Hey guys, this morning we're traveling on our own to Maras, so they have some salt terraces um, and we saw the pictures, they looked amazing, so we decided we're gonna try and get there on our own, so we'll see how that works. Hey guys, so we changed buses and there are two collectivos on the corner going into Maras for two solids per person. Uh, they can also offer uh, to go all the way to Salina Terraces, but uh, we decided to hike there, so we're just taking the bus into Mara City and then we're gonna hike up ourselves. So we just got off uh, from a minibus, we only paid two soldiers to come to Maras and we're gonna hike down on our own for about an hour to get to the Salinas. And yeah, I think the hike is gonna be amazing because the surroundings are beautiful. Okay, so these salt ponds, they were actually here since the Incan time, so that's five, six hundred years at least, and people still work on them. So the way it works is there's the subterranean water reserves, which are very salty. They basically come out through natural springs, and what they did here is the natural spring is located at the top elevation, and then water starts cascading down through all the terraces. Uh, and the pools are only about four square meters, so what they do is just they just leave the salty water under the sun it dries out creates crystals and that's how they basically get the salt out um, it's beautiful and you can see the amount of tourists that come here every single day there's massive buses So we met this um, couple from Netherlands while we were in Salinaras and instead of hiking back we saw a guy who had space in his trunk. Enough for four people so we got in and he basically took us to the bus stop for free which was about 50 minute ride. And then the couple basically said oh we'll just hitchhike someone and just stopped the car. <laughs> the guy said okay I'll get you back to Cusco for five uh, soles per person which was amazing. So the moral of the story is that our whole trip there ended up costing about 27 soles per person where like a tour would have cost at least 140 so it's a very good deal and now we're closing in the lunch with chicha morada, chicha morada yeah, which is the traditional drink here in Peru. Cheers! Cheers.